Welcome to our service of night prayer. God delights in each one of us. He's known you and he knows you now. So let's be still as we come into his presence. He is here waiting and expectant. Verse from Psalm 107, verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Come and reflect again on this day. What has brought you joy? It might be that something is over, it might be something else. What has been a struggle? What do you want to leave with God? Just reflect with him now. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Verse 14 from Psalm 139. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. How much do you think that you are fearfully and wonderfully made? How much are you able to know that you are made well? That God has been at work in creating you? I think that this verse on occasion can have real challenge for those who have different parts of themselves that they don't like or they don't work as well as they might, for those with disabilities, for those whose bodies don't function in the best way. It's a challenge, but still God has been at work and God knows. God knows the bits that work and the bits that don't. He's at work in all of us, and he we are still fearfully and wonderfully made. Sometimes the outer bit isn't as good as the inner bit. Know that he has made you well, that he loves you, and ask him to help you to praise him for the things that are good, and he can help you with the things that you struggle with. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. For we are made too in his image. And isn't that a privilege? Let's pray. Holy God, it's beyond us very often to realise that we are made in your image and you have made us fearfully and wonderfully. We look at the intricacies of our bodies and it's astounding. Father, thank you. But we bring to you too our challenges in their places where things don't function as we know they might do. Let your healing love and mercy flow to us and grant us patient strength and endurance in the places of challenge. Amen. Be present, O Lord, and protect us through the silent hours of this night 
so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. May the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, fill you afresh with his love as you rest in his arms of care tonight. Amen. Bless you and sleep well. <laughs>